Ladies and gentlemen, tier list of the decade, diet soda, whether you're cutting, you got diabetes, or you just don't want to drink your calories, this is the tier list for you. Pretty sure okay. diet soda was invented for people with diabetes rather than thinking to stay away from the harsh sugars. I might be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure like the first stuff in, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s. Maybe we could have fact checked this like 10, five minutes ago. But... This is not the History Channel. <laughs> no. Number two. I think we might have some issues. I did the best I could, but we got bottles and we got cans. Now, I did take a very fancy beer tour once, and they told me that that makes zero difference on the taste of beer. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what that has to do with soda, but maybe there's a taste difference there. That's another video. The tier list is already set because we know that McDonald's Coke is the best Coke. We should taste test Now McDonald's we're taste Coke. testing the rest. Sorry, I'm the top. Now we're there. Uh, super yummy, hella good. Daily drink. Daily drink is like you eat it or you, you drink it every day with a meal or something. I feel like a lot of our yellow guys are just like the default. Like yeah. it's good, but you're not getting overly excited about right, it. But yeah. it's always hits the, the gold standard maybe. Right, right. Um, taste diet. It's just like a super diety taste. No one really likes that. Um, it's I And then last one is what the fuck is this? So. Diet Coke, a classic. You like Coke Zero more though. I don't. I have a preference. Kyle's very particular. You know what I low-key like too? Is caffeine-free, the gold can of Coke. Even though not to avoid the caffeine, I just kind of like it. Yum. <laughs> Yum. I don't know. And then it has that aftertaste. I think some people would say it's chemical. Mm. It just has that diet aftertaste. But I don't mind. To me, the Diet Coke is the Toyota, the Honda, mm. it's the daily driver. It's the daily drink. Yes, I agree. Right? Daily drink. Like, it's not going to wow you. No. It, it, got, it got no bells and whistles. It's very generic. Very generic, but it's always going to be good. Always going to be good. Never, like, disappointed, really. Yeah, never, yeah. never. Except yeah. when it's warm. Okay. Warm soda will fuck you up. Warm soda. Mm -hmm. All right, Coke Zero. I think the other thing... I think I might like this better. There is something about cans that feel cold and feel like they keep them colder longer. Mm -hmm. That would be the only thing in my head. Versus plastic. Yeah, we're like a freezing cold soda is more important to me than a freezing cold beer. You want a cold beer? Recycled again, dude. Oh. I do think it's better. Really? A little bit. And does better mean closer to calorie Coke? Yes. That means the best? Yeah. And then just less of that like diety yeah. aftertaste. Yeah. That's pretty much, yeah, because it's closer to the original. I do think it tastes more like Coke, mm. but for me, I don't love like regular Coke. You like, you prefer diet over regular? I'm, I like, I'm addicted to chemicals. I mean, that doesn't make any so sense, for me, this so is. Ignore that. What are you putting into hella good though, or is it still a daily drinker? Uh, right, because it's like it's not that much different. Yeah. Which is tough. Because if, if you were going to go daily drinker, I'll, I'll agree yeah. and put it a, at Above, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do that. Because okay. it does taste more. There's something between those two also where... Um, is it this one? Like closer to this one? Yeah, yeah. I think you switch it in there. Where the, it gets uh, colder. Diet Coke or Coke Zero, I forgot which one. One can get colder, swear. Oh, well, I mean, like you have, probably not enough for me to notice. No, I swear you would. If we put the cans, uh -huh. that's where the bottle, that's what made me think of it. If we put the cans in the fridge and you grab them, you it physically feels colder and your mouth feels colder. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you sound crazy. Where's Neil deGrasse Tyson when you need him? Where'd you hear this from? Because there's no way you I'm, were grabbing it. Because I'm, you know how sensitive it. my hands are. How sensitive you are in general. I am. And I could <laughs> feel it. I could feel it. Okay. All right, now where are we? I can go, because okay. that's good to throw into these. Because the diet he Pepsi, can't open these. I got soft hands. <laughs> <laughs> is this Pepsi Zero? Is it, what does it say? Pepsi Zero Sugar. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what that's Pepsi. Zero. They literally just be copying. Yeah. Because I remember when Coke Zero came out, it was like a oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a cultural phenomena. Yeah. Pepsi <laughs> halftime show. They do win with the branding. Branding. Pepsi does better? Oh, yeah. Mm. They had like Michael Jackson in a commercial. But Coca-Cola has a polar bear. The polar bears are cute. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's... I kind of like Pepsi, dude. I'm trying to like taste the difference between the two. I think that one's better. I think within just diet soda world, they're just like, how, how much does it vary? You really, you know, between like... Oh, we're going to open some of these and they're going to... Okay. I, I might put that into a hella good or top a daily drink. 
I do think it's slightly better. And 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 I've had Diet Pepsi a ton. I've never really had um, whatever you want. Diet because I'm kind of Co- Pepsi Zero. They're all neutral to you. Yeah. Out of my brain, obviously, it does change when you're testing everything in a row. But out of like memory or when I go places, this is my favorite soda of all time. I mm-hmm. think. Like a movie, my fa- I haven't gone to the movies in months, but when I go to a movie, it's an extra large popcorn and it's a diet cherry Coke. I just wouldn't want, like I've never been like. Oh really? Yeah, I've never been drawn towards soda. I don't drink soda. I think the only time I drink soda is when I'm maybe cutting. So. It helps cutting a lot. That's why we're obviously doing the tier list. Diet sodas are like a huge thing to break up all the water intake and when you're not eating anything sweet, it helps to get crave, something. Yeah. yeah, but I got uh, a soda addiction from my dad for sure. Okay. Because my mom hates yeah. soda. God, she no. won't even drink it. Do you like olive oil? <laughs> Not like that. I ain't gonna slurp it. Yeah. Mm. Fire. 10 out of 10. Super yummy. It's good, dude. It's really good. Like the fake cherry is really good. The bubbles. Bubbles are something we haven't dug into. You don't like it? No, I do like it. It's like a black cherry. Oh. Ooh, exotic, I erotic. I think it is different than like... It's good, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing with diet soda and me is I like bubbles, so I'll drink bubbly water just the same. Like liquid death, I love that shit. Different sodas have different like bubbles, I feel like. And ch- a good cherry Coke is really bubbly, and I like that. Is this the type of bubble? I think it's good. The I, bubble level, is that right for I think you? the I think the bubbles are high. I don't... Fives are high, bubbies is high. But is there a difference between the bubbles there versus... I'm 100% out of my ass anecdotal, but I even feel like bottles and cans, bottles have less bubbles. Mm -hmm. In my head, I don't like bottles as much. Mm, Something about the fermentation process. That's hella good. I guess too sciencey. That's hella good. The cherry's good, good, dude. It is hella good. What do you think it is? I think it's super yummy because it stands out. The flavor is good. It hits harder than the others. flavor, yeah. It's kind of like these and then some. It's them plus. Mm-hmm. It's the plus plus of the cola yeah. world. Yes. Cherry. Go. Er. Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm. Dr. Pepper, I've found, because my family's from Argentina, is very American. They hate it down there. I think it's not common, and they think it tastes like medicine. Okay, They yeah. think it tastes like cough medicine. Some people feel that way here. Yeah, which probably. Is, uh, right. Um, I just didn't, ex- I don't know. I guess I'm more DP surprised. hits too. That's hella good. That's the thing with soda. It's like uh, it hits. tickles the tongue. With like Dr Pepper, I feel like it's one of the more controversial. It or, probably is polarizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polarizing. Soda. Yeah, most people never say like, "Oh, I hate Sprite or I hate Coke," but mm-hmm. some people do say like Dr Pepper's uh, too syrupy or something. Mm. I think it hits. It's good. I think it's just a next door neighbor herbal version of the cola. Yeah. There's herbs, right? Twenty three flavors, I believe. I'll probably put the DP. Top of daily drink or hella good? What do you think? Uh, it, the other issue I think is that personally and the world, Coke is so accessible, mm-hmm. it like made itself the daily drinker. That's true. It's branded as the daily drinker. Right. So if, if we were if our default soda was the Dr. Pepper, I'd probably be more excited for Coke. Mm-hmm. But the default when you go to any restaurant, McDonald's or at home is the Coke. So we want to break out of that branding type of like. Yeah, it's like it's it's the norm, but it I don't know if it's the the norm based on taste or just the norm based on yeah well, accessibility. So Dr Pepper, I don't know if is actually better or better yeah. Because we don't drink it as often. Yeah, so it feels like a treat, but but in reality, it might taste the same as daily drinkers. But maybe that is a part of why it's better. Yeah. Because You're true, the like, rare. There are so many different types of Pepsis and Colas and whatever, but this is like rare as, yeah. as a flavor. For me, I'm probably still actually a daily drinker. I enjoy it, but I, I don't like scream for it. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I think it's maybe above Diet Coke. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, it could be the top of that list too, potentially. A lot of them, oh. like I said, for me, they're just all so good. Yeah. Where do we go? Dark next? The, the versatility of root beer is something we need to speak on. Okay. The root beer float. The root beer float. Yeah. Underrated. I mean, when was the last time you had one? Exactly. They're so good. Mm-hmm. We'll go get one right now. There's an A&W here, and they'll do it fresh ice cream uh-huh. and out the tap. Uh, sarsaparilla is what we call it back in the day. I don't like that as much. Sarsaparilla is the plant. What is for this? Yep. Mm, that just doesn't sound as appetizing. But that's a pretty good history lesson. Okay, good job. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> Fact check him. Fact check me. It's sarsaparilla. Um, here we go. 
And now we're switching to the can. I'm not gonna open it another can. That's fair. I'm, I'm gonna have so many bubbles in me, maybe it'll help the pump. Okay, we'll put that to the test too. Woo! That's good too. Say it's for Shut. I had a. I was, You're so dumb. So I went to a weird school, right? And we had a garden at my school. A large. That's so weird. You don't like it? I do like it. It's like. It has like a similar effect of Dr. Pepper. You know what Dr. Pepper is? What? Spicy root beer. But I do believe. Yeah, like spicy like herbs or like bite. I think Dr. Pepper has some bite to it. More bite than root beer. Yeah, root beer is like creamy. That's why it go, probably goes so good with ice cream, right? That one's really good, dude. It might be hella good. Honestly. Right? Yeah. I wish we could have found more. Finding diet soda is hard. I went to two big places and I couldn't find them all because I would like to try Barks versus A&W versus, what's the other Mug. big boy? Mug. Mug. Those three. But I, I do think A&W wins. I don't know if I've had Mug. Yeah. You think hella good? You think hella good? Yeah, I think hella good. You don't? It's all right. But again, maybe it's just because I don't drink it as often. All right, Diet Pepsi. Do we go back to back or no? Mm -hmm. Is that cheating? No. I think we should compare because we're like ranking. Right yeah, now. yeah, because they're all going to probably be the daily drivers, mm -hmm. right? So we got to put the daily drivers in order. I guess that's a good thing, huh? I think I like Diet Pepsi because it has more bubbles. Um. But that might be fake. I think this has more bubbles than this. Yeah. Yeah, and this. This as in cherry cola. Cherry Coke. They're so similar. Oh. They're so similar. I actually I, think... Fine taste us, dude. I actually it's think... Nice. I'm going to be burping all day. Mm -hmm. I think Diet Pepsi has more flavor. That's like smoother in a sense. Uh, yeah. It's, I think, less bubbly and uh, yeah. not as flavorful. Yeah, like this kind of hits you with flavor, which is what I want. Otherwise, I'm gonna drink fucking water or LaCroix. Yeah. Like LaCroix is a meme because it doesn't have enough flavor. Mm -hmm. Diet Pepsi might be the most flavorful. Out of... I mean, the cherry obviously has flavor, but out of these two. Okay. Right? I agree, compared to Pepsi Zero. Does Diet P, D, 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 P, P win? Win what? All of The them? Daily Drivers. Oh, yeah. Does it? I would, I would agree to that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't deny that. The DP, the classic DP in the Michael Jackson commercial. I don't know that commercial. Yeah, the commercial. I've been listening to Michael Jackson all day. Do you listen there's to a Michael sick Jackson? Beyonce commercial. I think there's a good Shakira commercial. They have hitters. All they got is a stupid polar bear. Oh my God, compare that. Oh no, is this one win now? It is a cute family when they're riding on their belly and shit. It's actually a very different flavor. It is. They almost don't Compared taste like cola. This. Yeah. Like, like it's weird that they're called the exact same thing, mm -hmm. right? They're both cola flavored. Okay, well. You go. I, can I, see. I think Pepsi's near the top for me because of the bubbles. No, I was surprised that I think I like this one better than that. I think I like Diet Pepsi better than Coke Zero. And remember, you said in the beginning, which I do think is true, I like Diet Coke, I think, better than I like Coke Zero. Coke Zero and Pepsi Zero... Yeah, they went with like a smooth taste. Like it's kind of... Uh -huh. Muted? Yeah, and like thicker almost. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like denser flavor, but it's uh -huh. less flavor. It doesn't pack a punch. Yeah. Diet pe pe Pepsi kind of... <laughs> that's what DP has. Yeah, it kind of has that spice. Yeah. Um, Tickles the tongue. Jeez, okay. So Tickle the tongue. Diet Pepsi... I don't know, man. Probably. The top daily drinker. It might be. I think this is a fan favorite. And it, it's it's such a fan favorite in the gaming community. It's a meme. Oh my god! The Baja Blast and the Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. What's with the gaming community and Mountain Dew? I think maybe because it's like a degenerate soda. I think also because um, it reminds me of degeneracy. For sure. Yeah, like this is like my childhood, okay. just playing COD, dog. Degeneracy. Yeah, and I would get one of these if I could, with the straw. Oh. Well, I'm on a kill streak. I can't take time to take a sip, <laughs> but I'm thirsty. I do like this, but even in my head, uh, compared to the others, I think Mountain Dew is a little bit of a muted flavor as well, despite popular belief. No, Mountain Dew is such a weird thing. Like, I don't know what it is. What is this based off of, you know? 
It's not a cola. Yeah, it's not even fruity. It, now tasting with the rest of them, it doesn't taste as fruity. It's not, what did you call this, spirulina? <laughs> Sarsaparilla! Yeah, like what is this? Spirulina's a... From the mountains. It's the dudes you find in the mountains. It doesn't hit when you're doing the rest of this. No. It's so mid. It's kind of mid. Oh my god, it's our first I It's I You think it's that low? What's the other one? Taste, taste diet. diet. It actually doesn't taste diet. It just tastes watered down. That's what I mean by like muted. Like it, it's not as flavorful as you think. This is the battle of the century. Mm -hmm. I feel like the Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi is an even battle. Right? It's Duke versus Kansas. It's Lakers versus the Celtics. Okay. It's Avilia versus Silent Mike. It's, um... I'm not getting any of these references. Okay, it's, uh... Um... Goku versus Avatar. Nope. This? Is that? Yeah. It's, um... um cookies versus donuts? I'm trying to speak your language. Okay. I could, I could do that. But these two, uh -huh. I feel, is like ground turkey versus a donut what I, I don't feel like nobody's ordering seven up and everyone wants a sprite i don't know if i know the difference uh, there isn't besides the brand it is the it is the pepsi and coke but no one says seven up this is the tissue of the kleenex world or the kleenex, kleenex of, of a tissue, tissue world, world. <laughs> the the pampers of the poop world okay so that being said, Campers which Campers are Huggies though, you know? Oh, Huggies are big too. Yeah, the Gerber or the Mush Food? Okay. Which one do we start with? Because I do think this is the, um, yeah, the, uh, what do they say? Not underdog, the opposite? Oh, top dog? No. Oh. <laughs> what? Favorite. <laughs> the favorite. Oh, the favorite God. to win. This guy's the favorite to win. Don't drink too much soda. So which one do you start with? I know the bubbles are getting in my head. You ever seen Willy Wonka when they start to float? The, boat, the soda that makes you float? Yeah. They're coming out with a new Willy Wonka. That looks bubbly. I like bubbles. Hmm. I grew up on Sprite. Refreshing. See, that's like it's spicy muted. too. It's muted. But it hits you on the tongue like Bleh. Yeah. I think these two. I have little dancing fairies on my tongue. I think Bleh. it's like the light sodas compared to- They're the doing the Dougie on my tongue. I don't know. All right. We gotta compare the two. I don't know where to place it. That sound is delicious, though. This kind of screams incel to me. Okay, I'm glad that you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think Sprite is actually just better. That has a little more flavor, though. You might like that. There's something. It has, it has more flavor, but not more of the flavor that I like. That's fair. I I want to say texture, but that's the wrong word. Sprite has something. Bite. Bite. The bite is it. The bite is what you want in a soda. And the citrus flavor is better. It, it, it is more pure. That's more fake citrus. It, yeah. This is a more pure lemon lime. This is like lemon lime extract, and that's like lemon lime zest and juice. That tastes, uh, we talked about it in our protein bar, I think, of uh, the fake fruit taste. Mm -hmm. Some are good. Artificial. Yeah, like, like, but they're literally a new flavor, right? Like there's oranges when you bite an orange, and then there's orange flavored shit. Right. Orange flavored shit is good. It just doesn't taste like orange. That citrus flavored stuff, mm -hmm. and it doesn't taste good. No. And I this agree, this yeah. is closer to real citrus. I wonder like if they actually use different like flavorings. Probably. Probably both are fake, and this one's just closer. But this one tastes. The bite I think is the citrus because citrus bites. Yeah. I think Sprite wins big, but I, I don't know if it's above a daily. I didn't know that I liked Sprite that much more than Seven Up. I didn't either, but I knew that this was the gold standard in the citrus realm. Mm -hmm. They win the citrus Super Bowl. Yeah, I agree. Sprite taste. Is it above a daily? It's pretty good. If you want to go hella good with this, I wouldn't be mad. Yeah. Sprite's pretty good. Uh, yeah. I grew up with it. I really like it. I don't really drink soda, but... I would probably go... Oh, we didn't rate Mountain Dew. We just went ham. Okay. We just did three. My bad. Oh, shit. Mountain Dew... You want to go, it's I ate. I probably think it tastes diet. Okay, look at me in the middle. Sprite? Yeah, you 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 do the final say, but I'll give you my input. Okay. Sprite, I'm probably going hella good. Okay. And honestly, 7-Up, I might go below Mountain Dew. Same category for me. But then you, you mix your mix, and then you eat it in there. 
with the final decision? I don't know. I know the colas are daily drinkers, but I think I would choose that over Sprite. Oh, you're going daily drinkers over Sprite? Like, yeah. That's fair. We could go, we could go Sprite as a daily drinker. I'm not mad at that. Because, yeah, in comparison to the cola drinks, I don't know. I prefer this. But that might be like a flavor personal preference. Right. Like, when you go out and you get, like, when you go get food, you're getting, like, Coke Zero or Diet Coke. Yeah. Like Pepsi and stuff. If they had this, I'd order it here and there. Really? Yeah, they just don't have it. It's always sugared. I mean, it, you're right. At some point, it's not better or worse because it's like, okay, let's do an ice cream taste test, but we're going vanilla versus chocolate. Well, you can't really do that. Yeah, yeah. You got to taste true. all vanillas. Mm -hmm. So it is hard to do this because it, it does just come down to personal preference, which is fine, though. This is, this is what we think is the best. Yeah. So if you want to go Sprite, probably, I guess then the next question is, if it's a daily drinker, is it better Dr. Pepper? And I would say yes. Oh yeah, okay, I can agree to that. Is that fair? Yeah. Daily drinker. Cause yeah, I mean, Coke, um, Cokes and Pepsis and stuff are, are where they are for a reason, they're good. Yeah. They're a daily drinker, they're the norm for a reason. It's not cause they're bad. And I think it's, I think these are also closer to their originals than Sprite is. Oh, it's potentially. Sprite Zero. So definitely closer than 7-Up. So then 7-Up, where are you at? I'm at, it's probably, it's oh, aight. It's aight. Yeah. It's probably not that good. I will definitely drink it if it's in front of me. All right, this one's next. I'm actually. Um, it's the uh, last one. No, we got Fanta. I, I, I'm a big ginger ale fan. Um, there's something called Verner's that's like a form of ginger ale, but it's not the typical one that I love. It's so gingery. Is that it, a brand? It's a br brand and like the name, kind of like a squirt. Okay. You know what I mean? Where it's like a brand and the soda, I don't know, or Mountain Dew kind of. Verner's. What? It's supposed to be like. It, it is more flavor. Yeah than any soda, I think. That's why I want to try it. Yeah. Because I like that ginger flavor. So ginger flavor is so good. And I actually think that's mm. just a very mild version, but it's very similar to the calorie one. They actually do a good job, but it's just uh, less flavor. Okay, I got the ginger on the first sip, and, the, and then since then, it would just kind of taste like this. Yeah, to me, it just actually doesn't have a lot of flavor. It doesn't. Where ginger ales normally pack a punch. It's some. It's like a sprite without the, the lemon. Yeah, but it is good. Mm -hmm. I do like it. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for something flavorful, that's not where I'm headed. Like if you're, but if you're like dieting and you're literally just using this as like a diet tool, yeah. that probably would taste very flavorful. That's true, and I think it's also in comparison to right. all of this. Maybe we went backwards. I don't know. Like oh, probably. Light Remember we do have protein bars too. We thought maybe we just yeah. had some of the wrong ones at the wrong For the time. For the energy drink, we went back to the first one. We're like, wait, this is not. That yeah, good. but if you were, yeah. But the point is, if you are that good, you're going to be good in the beginning or the end. And right. if you're mediocre, you're going to be good when you're placed correctly, mm -hmm. right? So like, I think Diet Pepsi and them are always going to hit. And this one just is, yeah, less flavorful. It is less flavorful. But it's not oh, bad. No, it's not bad. I would probably daily still. Daily drinker at the bottom. Yeah, I'd probably still throw a daily drinker. Because ginger ale is just like in a category of its own. Jeez. This, I just opened it and I could smell the orange. I think he's still going to pack one. Okay. You ever play it zombies? Looks like, yeah. Pack a punch. No. Uh -oh. I love zombies. And yeah, they're coming out with one supposedly. Uh, we should play. Yeah. <gasps> we should. We should play. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Interesting. I'm going to wait for you. That tastes very similar to the original. I haven't had Fanta in so long, I couldn't say. Yeah. I think it tastes, because I don't just like, maybe it's a little more watered down, but it's closer, I think, than this. I don't know. Uh. Something about this, I feel like it's not as flavorful. I but thought I was going to love that Fanta, uh -huh. and I didn't. Well. It tastes kind of like a bitter orange. It looks like the fake oranges they used weren't ripe yet. Mm. They used not ripe fake orange. Yeah, unripened fake oranges. That's crazy. I don't know. It's not what I thought. It smells better than it tastes. It smells insanely good. <laughs> it smells like the best orange soda you've ever had. Right? I'm starting to taste more diet. The aftertaste? Mm -hmm. You can definitely taste the diet. I wonder if caffeine, I don't think caffeine has that much flavor, mm -hmm. but it, it, I wonder if they purposely go caffeine free and if that affects the flavor. Why? Like, do they add caffeine to Coke? I know that's the dumbest statement ever. Right. Why is there caffeine in soda? Yeah. 
for flavor. Yeah, that that's sense. it has to be, right? It says contains no juice. So where the hell is the orange coming from? <laughs> the unripe fake juice. Oh the my orange. god. That's, the Matrix juice. That is a little concerning. That's everything we eat. Those protein bars, you don't want to read the ingredients. No, that's true. Go back and check out the protein bar tier list. I uh, am underwhelmed. Because in my head, orange soda slaps. But that didn't do it But for you me. also haven't had orange soda. In a long time. Growing up, Sunkiss was my shit. Yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Squirt. You're a Squirt? I know it's grapefruit. Oh, is it? It's technically grapefruit. Is it not branches grapefruit? I think it says grapefruit, but it's just small, that. you know? It's know just that. known as squirt. Oh my God. I feel like it tastes diet to me. It tastes diet. It tastes diet. But it's definitely worse than Mountain Dew in my opinion. But it kind of tastes, I think it's probably like the fake sugar they use. It kind of tastes like Mountain Dew in a weird way. Ladies and gentlemen, comment below what your favorite soda is of the ones we tasted. Because you're going to come out of left field and yeah, that might be better, but I couldn't find it. And if you can't find it, it can't be good. Because then you don't get it. You know what I mean? What That's like a ride to the moon sounds great, but I can't get to a ride to the moon, so who cares? It doesn't mean it's not good. Though. It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Because yeah. if you can't find it, then you can't enjoy it. Everyone's going to be like, oh, you didn't get this. Yeah, Ugh. yeah. But it's that hard. And it probably is location dependent, right? You send live it in the, to us. Yeah, yeah. Send it away. The gym's send address, 2010, 2010 3rd, 3rd Street. You can send anything you want. We'll try it here live. California. We might have a food channel on the way. Who knows? Announcement coming soon. Um, we have some channel name ideas down below. Oh yeah, we'll do it on Instagram. We'll 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 get us some. So follow us on Instagram, Abby dot Lou I L I E U. Good job. Wow. Salam Mike. New videos every single day. Tier list on the way every single Wednesday. Uh, appreciate y'all. 3 sbco Third Street Barbell, Sacramento. We'll catch you in the next one.